Hey guys, welcome back. So in the previous video, we finished up creating this grid of content over here. And uh, now we can go ahead and add in some shadows to, you know, add in some nice interactions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the link block and I'm gonna add in some shadow. But before I add the shadow, I'm actually gonna go ahead and you know delete this number one class, all right? I'm gonna tell you why, because you know what, let's, let's have, let me actually show you what happens. If I go and you know add in this one, all right? And then I add in uh, the box shadow, all right? So let's say we add this box shadow. It doesn't apply the box shadow to all this because I'm applying this box shadow to two classes, all right? And this link block has a different class, so it's not applying. So the way to fix that is if I go ahead and select uh, only the link block, all right? So just the single link block, and then I add the shadow, it's gonna apply to all the other ones as well. Why is that happening? It's simple. It's because this property of shadow, of drop shadow, is being applied to the link block class. And since each of these other elements have a link block class also, it's gonna get the drop shadow effect. So let's do that. So I'm gonna add in an angle of 180 degrees, distance set to 10, blur set to 20, and I'm gonna give it a color which I copied. Um, it's um, C6D0EB, set the opacity to 50%, and uh, that should look pretty good, works perfectly. Now when hover, it changes a little bit. So if I come over here, we can see that the drop shadow settings are 20, 40, and 100. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and with this link block selected, I'm gonna to go to states and choose hover, all right? And here we're gonna set this to 20, 40, and we're gonna set this to uh, 100%. Great, there we go. So as you can see, as I hover, you can see that changes happening you know, as we expect. Now, one thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the spacing over between these two is also 40, so it's 40. Here, we d actually didn't define it. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. So select the grid, and here you can see that we have the gap. So the column gap and the row gap, we want it to be 40 pixels you know, each, all right? Sorry about that, let's go back over here. So we've got 40, and then we've got 40 over here as well, and click on done. And you know, now we have some good amount of spacing, which is uh, pretty fine. The next thing is we want to add uh, this scale animation also. So if you see over here, it kind of scales. So let's do that. So select the link block. And here, let's go to the states, go to hover. And in the image, um, we can slowly increase this up. So from 345, I don't know, maybe 400 is a good number. I guess that should work. Um, maybe you can set it to 2x, um, 345 to 400. All right, um, I think that should be pretty good. So yeah, I think I like it. Now the only thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead into the states, um, make sure that we have in the none state actually, select the none state and let's go and choose transition. Uh, let's set this to 300. Let's choose ease out. Um, let's try something different. Let's try ease out suck, not quite sure. And uh, type, I'm gonna set that to all properties and yeah, let's check it out. Maybe might be a bit too much. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit too much. So let's go ahead and just uh, tone that down a bit. Let's go for something like, uh, you know, ease out quart, all right? You know, something a little bit subtler, all right? There you go, perfect. And it applies the same thing to all the others and it is fantastic. There we go. All right, that's looking good. All right, for some reason, it's not applying it to this. So let's see what the problem is. So if I come over here, we've got a link block, all right. So it looks like because this position is set to manual, it apparently doesn't take the properties. Um, I, actually, I actually have never faced this issue, all right. So what we can do is, let's select this link block. As you can see, we've got some shadow, all right, um, 50%. Let's go and select the hover state, um, 2040, which is fine. And also the, yeah, we can change it from 200 to 250. All right, yeah, that works, there we go. So now um, let's go back to the none state. And yes, maybe that's too much. So I want to reduce this from uh, to uh, from let's say from 200. Oh, sorry. Let's go to the hover state, and in the hover state, instead of 250, maybe 230 is a good number. 
all right there we go that that works fantastically and yes all right that's looking pretty good so this is a quick video so in the next video we're going to go ahead and take a look at creating the next section uh, which isn't there on the website actually but is there over here which is the which is the top download section it should be pretty quick uh, to create so i will see you guys in the next video